<laughs> now I am. <laughs> okay, we'll get underway with the broadcast, and we will then do a daily newspaper section after that. We will start with Gary Cottrell from Thank Sky you. Sports News. Gary, where you go? Thanks, Adrian. Hello, Thomas. Hi. Uh, Team news, please. We were like everybody on the training pitch today, except for Ben Chilwell, of course, and for Rhys James, who has a bit uh, muscular problems after his last three matches, not at his injured legs, the other uh, leg, the other leg, but still, and we need uh, examination. We thought he could be maybe on the pitch today, but he couldn't, so we need further examinations to see what's going on. I'm going to ask you about, about Reese because obviously he's so important to you, he's proved it again. You have to yeah. be really careful now the games are coming thick and fast. He's, he's played in every game since he came back. Yes, and he felt it during the match and that's why we took him out and it didn't get better. So we are worried, and uh, but still we need like some more details and some more information. So today will be like some further examinations. Uh, it was obvious what he gives to our team and can give to our team, so not good news at the moment. I know you don't know, you've made that clear, but do you fear it's a, a big setback? A setback for sure, I hope not a big one. Um, and you say Ben Chilwell isn't obviously trained with the rest, but he has been out on the grass. Yeah, I think they did a photo, no? And I think they did the photo during the one minute he was out. <laughs> so it feels like this, so nobody saw him. It was like, we were all like super excited, but it was just to, to, to the weather was uh, made it possible that he can do the exercise he normally does inside, outside. So they made him smell the grass and get him a bit excited, um, but uh, nothing like, and not, not even close to, to to, to football, team training, whatever, no. So you're not changing your prognosis about seeing him before the end? No, the no, no chance. Um, Kai Havertz, is he undroppable at the moment? Well, nobody's undroppable, but uh, uh, if he plays like this and if he, he, he stepped up in his mentality, in his game, and he's, he's very, very good, has a huge influence physically and, and from his uh, uh, quality in our game, and um, that's why he's very, very important. He's in a, in a good shape. He um, he turned things around again for himself. Uh, he was very strong in the beginning of the season, and then he had like some weeks ago a bit of spell where he, where we did not feel him uh, so involved like we feel him now, and he fought his way out. So full credits to him. It's, uh, it's the absolutely right mentality, and he shows how important he can be, and it's uh, it's very, very important for us. Do you take personal pride in, in that? Me? No, no, I don't take per the, the pride. Is, uh, no, absolutely not. It's it's on him. He stepped up and he made the, the, the players take care of themselves that they are on the pitch. And if they're on the pitch, they need to take care that they stay on the pitch. And he did absolutely this. He was like <coughs> a bit like um, down and uh, he, um, he had s uh, struggles to, to fight for it and, and to know how to fight for it and then he stepped up, we, 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 we spoke, but it is like a, a more or less a daily thing and he changed uh, again his attitude, used his physique, used his body and, and went day by day and was more and more impressive and, and he's in a very, very good shape since since long time and uh, yeah, as nothing has changed in the in the relationship and he's in a, we, we always trusted him and he shows his potential he's still very young and it's very good finally from me congratulations again to you and the team for, for playing well and winning with everything that's going on yeah. outside have you had any updates it seems there are a lot of people interested in buying the club which is good news do you have it to come <laughs> as soon as possible uh, yeah well if to have clarity is always better than to have uncertainty but I have to say we, we produced performances and we, we produced results in, 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 in times of yeah, global uncertainty and also in, in, in club-wise uncertainties f um, that makes us proud and, and shows us more maybe more important to be proud. It shows that we can trust uh, in ourselves and uh, gives us a lot of trust in the, in the culture of the club, in the culture here at Cobham. And um, yeah, this is this is uh, gives us good feeling from. So we have the culture right, and we have the attitude right, 
and we can focus even if uh, yeah uh, things are uncertain. In the moment, <coughs> I have absolutely uh, no more information than you have for sure, and that's why no updates on that. John, five line. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Can you tell us what it's been like and how difficult maybe it has <coughs> been for the last two weeks trying to continue as normal and prepare for games, given what is surrounding the club? Yeah, not so difficult, I have to say, because I think the the, the big credit is, is is to the club and what what. What, what the club and the people who work at the club and I mean really everybody who is here in Cobham but also from, I mean the culture is created from, from also from top to bottom and then it bounces back from bottom to top but, but it's, 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 I have the feeling that it's for everybody since day one clear why you work here and how you work here and how you behave and what it takes to be a member of Chelsea staff and, and Chelsea team and this helps because things are so clear and um, um, people are very devoted and very committed to what they're doing. And I, I said very often, it is an incredible amount but also so of support, but a quality of support is outstanding. And this is what I mean, and that creates a certain atmosphere. And once you have this, this can protect you in, in uncertain times or if, if things get a bit awkward and, and, and distracting. Um, it it ha always has an effect. But but it calms you down, and and this is so. The huge credit is is uh, for the club in general, and and for the organisation, and we have to take care about it. Me myself, uh, foremost, we have to take care about this, and then it is possible. And are you updated regularly on what's going on about a possible takeover, or do you just <coughs> leave that to? to Not so much. I mean, I'm in regular exchange, like like always with Peter and Marina, but uh, not in too much details. I have to say. You spoke about Kai Havertz and his good form, which obviously means Romelu Lukaku is probably not getting the time that he he would want. What's what's his state of mind? Do you have to manage him quite carefully? Yes, of course. It's not easy in the moment for him, um, but he's a member of the team and an important member of the team. And uh, there are other players. At, at certain times who are not happy because uh, this is the biggest problem is that we can only start 11 players and a lot of players think and they have a reason that they are regular starters for us and can be regular starters. Kai, there's always a chance because Kai can uh, also play more positions than only number one. We can also play with double strikers like we played in the in the second half against against Burnley and we played against in Luton second half with two strikers. So there's always a chance. It's not only Romelu, it's also Timo and it's, it's sometimes one of the midfielders. But that's also like the quality. Uh, it's the quality, and that makes in the end uh, the difference. Romelu fights for it, like like everybody else, and uh, <coughs> this is what we need. And he is as positive as he can be. Of course, he does not like the situation. Nobody likes the situation, but he handles it uh, very very professionally. And uh, and uh, I try to do my best to be to be <laughs> respectful and 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 supportive, like like for everybody else. And just one final one on Andreas Christensen. Is there any news on his contract? I mean, do you expect him to stay? <coughs> well, it's in doubt. No, I mean, we we hear the rumors, and and uh, the situation with Andreas is um, also since since many weeks clear, and we are not happy about it because. Uh, we, uh, I, per, me personally, and and uh, club representatives, we think that it's uh, best for him to stay, and we rely heavily on him. He did not sign yet, so you cannot not communicate. <laughs> if, if this is also a signal to us, and uh, communication uh, from from his side is that he he did not sign until now, so we have to consider the possibility that he leaves us. Will we like it? No. Will we live with it? Yes. Um, it, things are not personal. Never, never should be personal. But yeah, this can happen. But I have no further information. No, like not information that I don't want to share. No, no information at the moment. Okay, James, talk sport. Thomas, there are some suggestions that Christensen <coughs> could be off to Barcelona. Is, is there any information you have on that? And if that was no. the case, would that affect his availability for you up until the end of the season? I don't think so, because, uh, like I said, if things happen, they, I, I, I try, and uh, normally it's the best thing not to take them personal. If things like this happen, it's, it's, uh, he's, uh, then he's still our player, and uh, we will do what's best for us until his contract. Um, he's a Chelsea player, that's the point. He knows that we appreciate him a lot. I think it's a crucial point of his Chelsea career in the moment. 
Um, I think it's a, a crucial point where he has the chance to, to in, the, in the perfect age, in the perfect moment regarding the situation, the system in which we play, the guys who play at his side. Giving all these, uh, uh, considering all these circumstances, it's for me the, the decisive moment for him to step up and be a huge Chelsea player for the next, for the next years. If he decides otherwise, I will not take it personally and it is in the end not important if I understand it or not, but I will treat him as my player until the very last day if he, if he behaves how we behave here. Do you think you found the best position now for Kai Havertz and is he now your best option in that central forward? Well, in the moment he plays, and <clears throat> it's uh, because he deserves to play and he deserves because he gives so much to the team. I think he can play all three positions up front. He can also play as a double striker. Um, there's not so much different, but in the moment he digs in in the central position and uh, he does well. And finally for me, Jurgen Klopp was speaking the other day about how Man City and Liverpool are pushing each other to insane <coughs> levels, is what he said. How far away do you think Chelsea are? Do you think you've got everything you need here to, to be able to reach those levels yeah. in the next couple of years? Yes, we have everything. This is uh, clear, there is no hiding, there is no excuses, we have everything, this club provides everything, the culture that we talked about, the culture, the infrastructure, the, 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 the squad, the mentality, we have everything, what, what, it, what it needs, it's on us to, 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 to push and to not lose the contact. There are some reasons why why the gap opened, but uh, I think um, there are for f yeah there are always numerous reasons, but um, it's not the moment to complain, not the moment to be too negative. We 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 have what it takes, and and we will we will we will join the race. Olivia PLP. Hi Thomas. Hi. Um, your form's been pretty good across the last eight or nine games. Mm. The only defeat coming in the League Cup final. <coughs> Is it important that carries on at this time in the season, especially not to be drawn into a top four race, given where Chelsea have been one, two or three up until now? Yeah, and we want to stay where we are at least uh, and, and take what we can get from, from, from the guys above us. But uh, as we just talked about Man City and Liverpool, they show you that they produce these kind of results consistently throughout every month and uh, they don't uh, dip or they don't drop in performance and points wise in, uh, in, in certain months over a certain period. So this is what happened to us. I think that, that uh, the COVID situation in, in certain moments and the injury situation <coughs> caught us um, and and had a huge influence on our on our on our points. Um, but it's not it's not isolated, and um, I I agree with you. I, I think that we get better and better in the moment. We 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 get our form back, and we play again a bit more fluent, a bit more active, a bit more lively. So in this also a bit uh, like also uh, again more and more attractive, nicer to watch. Um, we can we can feel the the group stronger and stronger, and this is how we got the results. And this is the good this is the good uh, this is the good news. We managed before to get results, which was good to 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 overcome a period and what other teams also do. And um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Of course, we try to to win the game tomorrow, and of course, we have respect. It's a away game in Premier League, and uh, you know, if you look at our schedule, the next the next uh, the next four matches come within the the shortest possible time. So we need to be spot on. And just quickly, one on Norwich. Um, of course, these games at this stage of the season, season especially can be very very difficult, given the situation Norwich are in. Um, yeah really, really struggling. Yeah. Um, do you expect it to be I don't know, more of a challenge is the right word than sort of the home game, the 7 nil? Sure. Sure, because this was exceptional and this happens like once a season. If it happens, uh, it happens once a season and, and uh, would be a big mistake to, to draw any any conclusions from this game. We did not uh, use it in preparation and we will not use it. We analyzed the last matches from Norwich. They have a new, co a new coach. They have a bit of new style in, in, in defending and approaching the games. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot has changed. And uh, this, should not, um, this should not affect our mindset. This is uh, absolutely clear. Um, this is anyway very very important to consistently like also forget too much praise and like and 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 stay humble and and keep on going again and again and again in this kind of league. 
this is what the two top clubs uh, at the moment, the two top teams, not top club, the two top teams show um, since years. And this is where we want to join. And uh, if we want to join, yeah, of course we are like the, they are the underdogs. They have uh, they have nothing to lose. These are these kind of situations, and <coughs> we handle these kind of situations very well. <coughs> we know what it takes, and, um, and and it's on us to deliver. Okay, we're going to do Nick and then Simon and James Ollie to finish. Nick. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, obviously, Chris is another one who's coming in, into form it seems and uh, w what do you think he needs to do or does he need to do anything to you know to hit his potential is he sort of on course now or is he is, it, is there anything specific he's in a good he's in a good moment and in a good form and he's a, it's a good link up between him Mason and and Kai so they 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 have assists together they they are decisive they have goals <coughs> For me, Christian needs and and what he can bring to the team is his physicality and his um, his ability to to hit high intensity on on uh, very repetitively and and um, on a high on a high frequency. This is this is the focus, and from there he's um, the, the other thing is that he has the 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 ambition and the, the natural. Um, um, hunger and and ambition to arrive in the six yard box and uh, this is this is good and this is what we need and and um, he needs to focus he needs to focus on these things and and start from there and if he does and if he feels the the, um, the physical fitness the physical ability to do so he can have a huge influence in our game Simon hi Thomas um, how important is it given the, this is takeover related, um, to limit the instability caused by takeover, to have Marina and, and Peter part of the next regime, as it were. Part of the next? Regime, yeah. <laughs> that will, yeah the, uh, part of the next, yeah. This will not be my choice. And, uh, um, and um, this is this is uh, a part of it. I can only tell you that until now, it was, it was an excellent, excellent relationship and uh, a relationship that worked so so well for me and, and hopefully for, for also for, for the two others to take these decisions and um, to, to, to have the updates in a, in a small circle of, um, of communication and of um, responsibility and uh, hopefully it will stay like this um, but I have no influence in it and no if information if it will. Last question, James Ollie. Hi Thomas, um, you talked about Christensen already, you, you've got a couple of other players who see are out of contract this yeah. summer. Is the uncertainty over the ownership of affecting those talks or, or can the club <coughs> make decisions about contracts regardless of who the owner is going to be? This Actually, I cannot answer the question. I don't know. Uh, does it have an effect on, on, on the players? Maybe. We need to ask the players and uh, on the club. I, I don't know. I think that we are like capable and I hope that we will be capable. Right now it's still... What is it? March? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> It's still March. <laughs> <laughs> And and we have some time, but of course, like uh, yeah, there are some situations that we want to have solved, and we 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 couldn't solve them. And what reason soever, this is not an ideal situation. Um, on on top of it, the players do very very well who are concerned. We have to say, and uh, also for that credit to the players. But it shows you like the mentality here in the in the club and in the building that this is also normal for them to to deliver despite their personal contractual situation and this is what we rely on and uh, yeah of course hopefully we will have uh, the chance to stay in talks and 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 solve the things how we want them to solve for us okay cameras off please that's the end of the broadcast section